Hello, everyone. Thank you for your interest in the visual arts program here at North Fort Myers High School. I'm going to be walking you through some uh, some of the requirements and some of the uh, expectations of what we will be looking for in our auditioning students and hopefully be able to answer any questions that you might currently have in regards to the program and or to the audition process. So to start us off, we're going to be looking at the, the visual arts team. My name is Felipe Maldonado. I'm the department head. I'm also the ceramics, art history, and studio design instructor here at North. We have Ms. Mel Bowman, who is our drawing foundations and fiber arts instructor. Ms. Joy Williams, who is drawing, painting, and foundations. Mr. Jonathan Krishbaum, who is our sculpture, painting, and drawing instructor. And Ms. Holly Kurth, who is our photography instructor and our yearbook advisor here on campus. Um, so just to kind of give you guys a quick glance into the the process for the application itself, we're going to be looking at a total of 12 art pieces, four of which we'll be looking at specifically as a required piece, and we'll be talking about those in just a few minutes. But I also want to be able to just talk you through some, uh, some quick practices, if you will, to think about as you're moving into this audition process. We always recommend and, and ask our auditioning students to continuously practice their drawing skills, whether it's trying new methods, trying new ideas, just always allowing yourself to practice as much as you possibly can and always seeking out advice, critiques, feedback from as many people as you possibly can, whether they're your own instructors on campus, friends of yours, or people that you know that you can trust in the, in the with feedback uh, to you. Um, we're also, you know, we're looking for that, that ability to see your process over time um, so with those continual drawings, you'll be able to achieve that. So just to kind of start us off with the, uh, the portfolio process, two of the things that we're going to be looking for right off the bat, um, just to kind of get us started, um, you're gonna, we're going to need a headshot um, just to kind of really put a name to the face and to the artwork in case um, we, we happen to, to need a refresh to be able to associate. Um, well, we're also going to be looking for a personal statement of at least a thousand words, just describing your previous art trainings, any personal interest in the art world, or what your goals might be as a visual arts student at North for the next four years. And this will all be included in the digital submission upload, which I'll talk about towards the end of this video. So again, the, the portfolio itself that will be submitted to us will be a total of 12 pieces, four of which are going to be required pieces, and the remaining eight pieces are going to be uh, judged solely based off ambition, understanding of principles and elements of design, and the creative thought process. So these could be anything that you feel best exemplifies you and your work and your practice. One of the things that we always do um, re request of our students, if any 3D pieces are considered for the portfolio, to please make sure that you photograph from two different angles, and that will count as one submission just so that we can see the true volume of the piece itself and not just see it from one particular angle. We also want to, um, to put out there that we do discourage portfolios that consist solely of anime, cartoon, or superhero images because we want to be able to see our, our potential students' full variety and full breadth of techniques that they have to offer to us. So in looking at the required portfolio pieces, we're going to be looking at four very specific ones. The first one is going to be a self-portrait done in graphite, and we're looking for realism, we're looking for originality, and we're looking for you to really fill this 9 by 12 space. Um, this can be done either through a photograph of yourself or if you prefer to do it from a still life setting where you are looking at yourself in the mirror, whatever method you feel is, is going to be the best for you to accomplish this. Moving on, we're also going to be looking for an observational piece or a still life, as some of you might know it. Um, it could be done either in graphite or color pencil as well, and it should have a variety of pieces in it. So we're looking for at least three minimum, minimum three pieces in this drawing, um, but really thinking about how you're grouping them together to really challenge your observation of depth and how you see things in the round and from various different directions. Um, you can include things that anything really just as, as far as, it, as foods, toys, bottles, anything that you can find in your home is definitely acceptable. And again, filling in that nine by 12 uh, sheet will be the, the, the other big factor as well. The, the, thing, the other thing we're going to be looking for is a piece in color. Now, this can be any kind of piece in color. It could be a color pencil drawing. It could be a chalk pastel. It could be an oil pastel. It could be a painting. As long as we can see that you are manipulating 
and using applications of color theory and composition together, that's what we're going to be looking for in this piece. So the subject matter, the style is entirely of your choosing. And we're asking the, our, our applicants to, again, fill in that nine by 12 piece in size so that we can really see you take up as much of the, the space as possible. And the last piece that we have is a personal choice piece where you are going to be deciding on a singular piece, which one you think best exemplifies you if you had to select a sole piece, whether it's a 2D piece or a 3D piece, we will be accepting any, any option that you want to give us for that piece. Um, so think about things as far as computer digitalized art, photography, ceramics, sculpture, jewelry, collage work, even fabric as well can be considered for this piece. We're looking for originality. We're looking that it shows a variety of, of depth of understanding of the materials. And we're looking for a really strong composition of the piece itself. The portfolios themselves, the images will be submitted via the Google form link, which will be made available to the students via our school website. Um, later. And then moving on to the second part of the audition. So this is where students will be coming in for their live audition. We will have a the audition itself will consist of 60 minutes and it will be two different exercises with a 10 minute break in between. The first one will be an observational still life drawing produced by the staff here at North. Materials will be provided fully. So students, applicants, you do not have to worry about preparing anything. You don't have to worry about purchasing anything or bringing anything in, we will provide everything for you here on campus. After that, you'll be moving into a secondary um, piece or a secondary exercise where we will be challenging you on a, um, on a different platform and it, we will be deciding the medium and the subject matter and it will act as more of a surprise uh, for our applicants in that moment. Any questions that you might have, any concerns, please feel free to reach out to myself or our special programs coordinator, Mrs. Nancy Eske, and we can surely help you out with any small questions, any big questions, any concerns that you might have along the way with this audition process. So with our students that are applying and that get accepted to the school, all of our freshman incoming students will be required to take drawing one. And what we do in this course is we restabilize the foundation of where their understanding of drawing is everything from line variety to how that impacts the drawings to understanding the dimensionality between transforming shapes and the illusionary concept of three-dimensional spaces on a two-dimensional plane, focusing on value, focusing on scale, focusing on the development of composition and color theory later on. So we do offer a a large variety of understanding for our introductory students to be able to set them up for the best possible success in their four years that they are with us. And I just want to close out this uh, this video with a just a brief showing of all the courses we have here to offer at North and some still in the works that could potentially uh, arise in the future. But as a visual arts student, if you are accepted, you are required to take four semesters of an art course, which is equivalent to two years in order to maintain your arts designation here on campus. Students that are seeking the arts graduation diploma and cord at the end of their senior year must complete a total of eight credits to be considered for that designation. Any questions you might have on that, please feel free once again to reach out to myself or Mrs. Nancy Eske and we can help answer any questions you might have with that along the way. I want to thank everybody for your time. I want to thank you all for your interest in, at at North and thank you for your interest with the visual arts team and we hope to see you in the future. Thanks so much.